Hello all, I am Ujwal and I came with some beautiful Vedic Mathematics tricks which will definitely help you to get good marks and achieve in your academics. Today we are here with some nice tricks to solve the calendar tricks, the calendar problems. What do we mean by calendar problems? If we want to know some dates, some years uh, in the future or in the past, so we need to uh, check out our calendars or we need to count. But with some tricks, we can find the future dates or future dates or past dates or past dates. So here I am with a trick. So here we can find the days. It can be of future or it can be of past. Okay, so let's do some examples to understand this calendar problems. Let's try. Suppose today is Tuesday. And you got a question like after 36 days. After 36 days which day so this is the question so so suppose today is the 36th uh, today is tuesday suppose today is tuesday and after 36 days it is which day okay so let's first learn the basics what okay we know one week is equal to seven days right one week is equal to seven days and the question here is what will be the day after 36 day so simply we will do we will divide this 36 with 7 so it is 7 fives are 35 and the remainder is 1 okay so remainder is 1 so what we need to do is because today is Tuesday, so every after every seven days it will be Tuesday again. Okay, and here the reminder is one. So what we will do? Tuesday plus one. That is Wednesday. One means it's one day after. So because today is Tuesday, so one day after it is Wednesday. Let's do one more example on this. Suppose today is Sunday. Today is Sunday. So the question will be after 60 days. What will be the day? If today is Sunday, after 60 days, what will be the day? So as I told you, one week is equal to seven days. So simply we will divide 60 with seven. So seven eights are 56. We will subtract and this is four. So reminder is four. So simply what we will do on Sunday, we will add four. 4 means it is 4 days. So after Sunday, it is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So after 60 days, it will be Thursday. Hope you understand this trick. We simply need to, we know after how many days, this particular number, we need to divide by 7 and we need to find the reminder. If reminder is one, that is the next day of this day. If it is two, so after two days after, three means three days after, four means four days after. So this is one trick. Let's know one more trick. Suppose today is Monday. And what is the day before 37 days we have done two examples where we have discussed to know the days after the a particular date now here we will learn how to do before a particular day so we will use the same process we will multiply 
sorry we will divide 37 by 7 and 7 5 the 35 so we got here 2 because it is the question is before in the past days so simply we will do Monday minus 2 minus 2 means we will go two days before so two days before Monday is Sunday and Saturday so Saturday is the answer so if today is Monday before 37 days it will be Saturday let's do one more example in this <coughs> suppose today is Tuesday <coughs> so today is Tuesday so what will be the day exactly before 365 days it means one year if it is not a leap year exactly one year or 365 days before okay one year I have not taken it is a leap year it's a general year so it is 365 days so let's check 365 we need to divide by 7 7 5s are 35 1 is the reminder we will take 5 15 7 2s are 14 so reminder is 1 so here reminder is 1 and question is before if it is after you need to add that many days and if it is before then you need to subtract that many days so it is tuesday less 1 that will be before one day so it will be monday hope you clear with this kind of uh, calendar problems where you can find the days after some days or before some days so this trick we are closing here we will go for the next trick let's learn a fun trick uh, that is square of one series one series means the numbers uh, which are consisting only one in the digits so 1 11 111 1111 11111 and this series is called as one series okay so let's learn some tricks how to find the squares of the numbers of one series basically I have written here so if we are finding one square so generally it is a single one so we will write one here now it is 11 square so here there are two ones so what we will do we will start writing the numbers 1 and 2 because there are two toes two twos so we will write up to 1 and 2 then we will decrease so before 2 that is 1 so 11 square is 121 now suppose it is 111 square because here three digits are there so we will go up to 1 2 3 and then we will decrease that is 2 and 1 so 111 square is 1 2 3 2 1 let's learn one more suppose 1111 square so here there are four digits so we will write up to 4 1 2 3 4 and then again we will decrease so that is 3 2 1 suppose it is 1 1 1 1 1 11,101 series hope you can do it by now because here there are five ones so we will write up to five one two three four five and then we will decrease to four three two one so in this way you can find the squares of any one series so 1 square, 11 square, 111 square, 1111 square and so on. It can increase. Suppose it is a 6 digit. So you will continue up to 6. Then you will decrease up to 1. Hope this particular trick will help you definitely in your regular studies and in your competitive exams. If you know these tricks, this will definitely save your time. Thank you.